is I pass over to the amazing John Kennedy. John Kennedy is a fantastic um, IBO, independent business owner, who has worked with Cyril for many, many years. He has got such a wealth of knowledge, particularly about this key product that he's going to share with you. Um, so it gives me great pleasure to pass across and ask him please to unmute himself um, and join us so that he can share with you about one of our first amazing products. John. Yeah, hi there, Wendy. Hi, everybody, and thanks for having me on here tonight. I'm um, really looking forward to sharing some information here. Um, the, the product that I'm going to talk about is uh, STEM Enhance Ultra. And there's a little bit of education that goes on here because unlike the normal vitamins and minerals that we all know about, vitamin E and you know, fish oils and um, you know, vitamin D and things like that, and anti-inflammatory type things, we all know about those. We understand those. But when we talk about stem enhance or stem cells and stem cell nutrition, it's quite a new concept to people. So people don't really go, oh, well, I know all about that. I've heard about that everywhere. The most people sort of hear about with stem cells is, oh, you know, they're doing treatment with different things um, and they're injecting stem cells. So when they're injecting stem cells, that's a doctor choosing to tell your body where it needs some attention. When we talk about stem cell nutrition, we're actually talking about helping your body to repair itself where your body prioritizes it. So where we might think or where doctors might think that you need this part fixed, your body's own innate healing system is what we actually help to activate and get working properly. So we're just going to go through here and just go through a bit of education here. So we're going to cover adult stem cells and our product Stem Enhance Ultra. And so first of all, inflammation. Inflammation is really important because one of the things that inflammation does is it blocks our stem cell physiology. Inflammation, they say, is the, the cause of all the diseases around that we know. And what happens is that the inflammation stops our stem cells from working the way they should do. So let's have a look at what stem cells do and what they are. So your adult stem cells are in your bone marrow and they can be released out into your system uh, to help it re repair itself. So an adult stem cell can duplicate itself and it can turn itself into different types of other cells in the body, muscles, blood cells, nerve cells, cardiac cells, liver, intestinal cells. So this is what our body does. This is what our stem cells do. And every day we know that we're losing millions of cells. And if we just kept losing cells without them being replaced, well, there wouldn't be much, we, uh, we wouldn't last for that long, would we? So we've got to look at how does our body actually replace those cells when they die? So for example, eye cells live for two to three days and then they die. You know, your gut cells live for three to five days and then they die as well. Liver cells, six to seven weeks. Kidney cells, a lifespan of eight to 12 weeks. Lung cells and heart cells, about four months. So that's how long these cells live. And then they die and they have to be replaced. You know, for example, here, we have a new intestinal lining every five days a new liver every three to five years, a new pancreas three to five years, and we get a new lungs and new hearts every four to five years because we have cells dying off. And then we have cells that are coming out and replacing those dying cells with brand new cells. So as you can imagine, if that stem cell physiology, if those stem cells aren't working properly, then our body's ability to renew, regenerate, and keep ourselves healthy, that starts to decline as well. So this is how stem cells repair. So we've got the different tissues in your body, and whenever a cell in your body comes to the end of its life, whether it be through a trauma injury, 
or whether it just gets to the, the end of its age, its lifespan, it then sends out a signal to the bone marrow. The bone marrow then releases these stem cells into circulation, and they then come in contact with those dying cells. They switch on the gene, and they become a brand new cell of that type. So they then start re releasing you know, the right hormones. They start generating you know, beats of the heart. They start breathing in the oxygen if they're lung cells. They help our eyes see light you know, if they turn into eye cells. So this is how our body repairs every day. Now, at a deeper level within the body, so we all know that our, our lungs and hearts, and if we cut our finger, it repairs itself. But one of the things that I like to talk to people about as well is the depth of where this actually goes. Now, our cells of our body live in our environment within our body. And that environment is made healthy by our different hormones. Hormones govern every aspect of how we function and how our cells function. And if we've got a certain gland in our body that is not producing the right levels of hormones, then we get that hormone imbalance. And that can manifest in so many different ways. So if we've got glands, cells of the glands that are dying off without being replaced, then those hormones become less and we get out of balance. So if we're able to increase or support that stem cell physiology, oh, I'm clicking my mouse instead of the keyboard. So those, those cells of those glands, they send out the signal just the way as our, our other tissues do. And then those stem cells, they travel to those organs or those glands. They turn into new cells of those glands. And then we start secreting the right levels of hormones. And that brings our body back into balance. And that can affect so many different areas of health. And just, you know, this is where people say, oh, those hippies. I thought only hippies knew about this feeling of wellness. But no, when we actually have our body working properly, we can all have that sense of wellness, that sense of well-being. And that's about our tissues repairing, regenerating, and our glands hormonal system coming back into the way it should be, back into balance. So uh, back to the mouse. Here we are, back to the keyboard. So adult stem cells, they can get stuck. So there, as we age, our bone marrow becomes stickier. So we're not releasing the same stem cells as we once did. So when we were 20 years old, our stem cell release rate was said to be 100%. This is why you go and play rugby, you can go and go drinking, you can party, you can do all these sorts of things and you recover the next day because all that damage that we do to our body is repaired very quickly. But as we get older, our release rate, our bone marrow or our stem cells get stuck. So then our release rate is down to 50% by the time we're 50 years old. And then at 65 years old, we're only releasing 10% of what we used to when we were when we were 20. So if we go out and do things, we have a late night. God forbid we go drinking or anything, but even just a late night can have wipe us out for a few days. And I can almost speak of experience from that one. But also other things as well can also reduce that stem cell release rate, can slow down our body's repair system. And this is things like stress which includes, of course, poor sleep, toxins, poor diet, too little or even too much exercise can stress the body, and, of course, different illnesses. These can all affect our body's ability to release stem cells. And so less circulating stem cells can definitely relate to slower recovery rates. If we injure ourselves and we've got less circulating stem cells, those injuries take longer to repair. So they just sort of like linger on and linger on. And if they don't get better, they can turn into arthritis and things like that. So that's all that whole inflammation at that local area. Um, so, you know, it's the sort of stuff that you know, we can help to avoid 
by you know, supporting that stem cell um, stem cell physiology, but also at a longer sort of idea is that less circulating stem cells can actually result in the um, development of illness in the body. So if our eye cells aren't being replaced by our stem cells, we can develop macular degeneration. If our pancreatic cells, our insulin secreting pancreatic cells aren't replaced on a regular basis, we can no longer produce the right levels of insulin for our body. And therefore our blood sugar levels can you know, start to go awry. And as our body breaks down with Parkinson's, again, a gland in the brain that is reducing because it can't um, produce the right levels of dopamine. And we've seen where, where research has shown that increasing stem cells in the brain, they can turn into um, um, those cells that produce dopamine. Um, and therefore people you know, turn back and start to get improvements in various areas there. So what can we actually do and have a look here? See, here's some, a lot of research that was out. For example, stem cells can turn into um, the ability to renew the pancreas. Stem cells from the bone marrow, mobilized, have been used in the renewal of cardiac tissue. And stem cells from the bone marrow have shown the ability to participate in the renewal of retinal tissue. So that's tissue in the eye. So your own bone marrow stem cells have the ability, and it's been researched, that these stem cells can do so much within the body. And that's what they do. In short, your adult stem cells are your body's own repair system. And the more stem cells you have in circulation, the more repair your body does. And of course, the more ongoing repair you have, the healthier you are. And that's what it's really all about. So does improving your stem cell physiology actually make a difference in real life? And the short answer to that is absolutely yes. Because you know, your stem cells can turn into any type of tissue, any type of cell in your body. So just an example here, when people have increased their circulating stem cells, there's been an improvement with macular degeneration. So on the left-hand side, I hope it's your left, on the left-hand side, that cloudy part in the middle, eye cells have been dying off without being replaced. So if you increase circulating stem cells, your body stem cells can repair your body. And this is where on the right-hand side, that damage has been improved. Um, cartilage, an 81-year-old gentleman growing um, knee cartilage and bone density. So as you can see here where that green arrow is, there's no cartilage there. And the bone density just to the right a little bit is, um, is quite poor compared with this. Seven months later, the cartilage is growing back. That's that white line on top of the bone there. And the bone is actually harder to see through. So it's more white. So that's showing that the bone density has actually increased. So this gentleman was waiting on a knee replacement. We gave his body a specific resource that it utilized and activated his body's repair system. And that's what his body did. His body knew what it needed to do, where it needed to do it. And that's what stem cells do. So clinically proven stem cell nutrition. We've got Stem Enhance Ultra that has a big sentence, a double blind placebo controlled crossover study that has been published in the peer reviewed medical journal called the Cardiovascular Revascularization Journal to show that taking two capsules of our product is able to increase your own circulating stem cells by 25%. So if you're doing that once, twice, three times a day, you're allowing your body to do what it naturally wants to do. And with the lives that we live, you know, the phones, the stress, the time schedules that we have, we all have this stress. So we all have this thing going on 
that prevents us to repair the way we should. Because lots of people, you know, they're trying to sleep better. They're trying to get the exercise. They're trying to improve their diet. They're doing all of these things, but they're just not gaining that the edge that they're looking for. And when people try our STEM Enhance, the part that really seems to be missing is the helping the body repair, helping the body replace those cells and actually regenerate the body to the way it should be. So that's why you know, I, I just love this product. I love what it's done for so many people and you know, why I'm talking here tonight. So here's STEM Enhance. It, it does multiple things and it's very simple. There's just three plant extracts in there. So of course, no, you're not taking stem cells. You know, we've developed and found specific plant extracts that actually help your body to release your own stem cells. And so it's your innate healing system. It's not somebody trying to tell your body what to do. And when you do that, of course, more stem cells, more repair. So what we find is that stem cell increases your circulating stem cells by 25%. This helps with brain, clarity, focus, memory, concentration, you know, supports immunity, reduces inflammation. And because it's a whole food extract, you're also getting over 70 different vitamins, minerals, and trace elements into your body as well. So that's a summary of, of, of the Stem Enhance Ultra and how your body's own stem cells work. And so now I'm going to hand it over back to Sandra, and she's going to cover another incredible product that we've got that by itself is phenomenal, but combined with Stem Enhance Ultra is like, wow, really. There we are. Oh, just firstly, a disclaimer. I better put this in. Stem Enhance does not cure, treat, or diagnose any medical condition, okay? The only thing that Stem Enhance does is to increase your body's own stem cells. And that's it. There's a big full stop there. But once those stem cells get released, wow, they really are the magic in your body. 